Hi, it's Patty from PS Paper Crafts. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm going to show you this really cool um, stamp set and it has a coordinating die and it's ornamental envelopes and envelope dies. And this is, I know it's got Christmas, but you could use it all year round. I love it. Um, this can cut out the flap of your envelope or you can use it on a card. Um, ooh, I don't have them off yet. So it's really pretty. So you can put this um, on the flap of your envelope if you wanted to cut it out and have it lined underneath it. I'm not doing that today. There's different size um, pieces for cutting your envelope, for cutting the outside. You've got this, which actually cuts out. This is one stamp and this will cut it out so you can stamp it multiple colors and cut out and, and kind of layer on top. There's a lot you can do. I'm making kind of a simple card, but I love it. And then I'm using this um, Christmas, classic Christmas designer series paper that just came out with the curvy bundle. And I just love this paper. I love the colors. It's Sahara sand and shaded spruce and cherry cobbler. Love it. So this is the card. Joyful Christmas to you. And it's a top folding. I have some gems in the middle. And this is just all one stamp. And I love that. And then, may your season be merry and bright. And then this is the, da da the envelope. So I did the outside. Now, of course, if you're mailing this, you wouldn't want to mess that up. But um, you could, I guess you could put your label over it or move these down or something. And then it actually, the stamp actually has uh, these dots. At first, I thought they were to hang the bulbs and then, uh, or not the bulbs, the ornaments, um, but you can use it to address your envelope. And then on the back, I just did this little thing and I lined it using the, um, a piece of the designer series paper and the middle one of these. And we'll do that. So no worries. So let's get started on the card, but I love that envelope <laughs> and I love the card. So let's get our pieces out. It's cherry cobbler. And this is Sir Harris Sand. And the first thing we'll do is I'll have all the dimensions on my blog, PSPaperCrafts.com. So don't worry about trying to remember what I'm doing here. This is actually two and a half by five and a half. And I'll just stamp this whole big thing in uh, cherry cobbler. Just looking for my inks. And since this is photopolymer, a lot of times I like to put a... Um, piercing mat or a catalog or something, a mouse pad, something that will kind of give it a little bit um, or have a little give. So the first thing I'll do is I'll stamp. And since this is such a large stamp, I'm going to ink it up this way. And using the piercing mat on the photopolymer just gives it a little bit of um, give to it. So when you have the red rubber, the red rubber has a layer of like foam in there and it gives you, it's not so hard. This is very hard on a hard surface. So you don't always get the best image and especially with a big stamp like this. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. And let's do our envelope. We'll, we'll kind of do both things at the same time. So it's just a regular envelope and I have the piece for the liner. And I think it's good to stamp the envelope first. I stamped this after I had lined it, and I don't think it stamped as well because I had different layers. So my advice is to stamp the envelope first, have the flap open, and let's get, um, just put my fingers in the ink. So that's not good. <laughs> trying to get this done before the sun goes down. I'm not used to the daylight saving yet. So my, uh, my timing, my schedule for the days has to adjust for the sun. So I'm hoping this is showing up very, very well. So let's see. Um, the next thing I want to stamp is in Sahara sand. So let's put this away for now. And I'll use some Sahara sand and I'll just do this piece, this little rim. Um, it almost looks like pearls. So I have that mounted 
and we'll do Sahara sand. I like, I, I love uh, cherry cobbler and crumb cake together, but this paper has Sahara sand and I think it's just as nice. So, and then the sentiments I did get from this Joyful Holly uh, stamp set. So I have a joyful Christmas to you and may the season be merry and bright for the inside. So I have that all mounted as well. And let's do that in the cherry cobbler. I wanted to get something that would fit up here nicely. So you can look through your stamp sets and find something I'm sure. So we have that piece and then we'll do the inside as well. So let's get that sentiment. Just put that right up here. And then I use these pieces, which I thought was pretty. I was going to hang this up here, but I saw these and I thought they were really pretty. So I just put them in each corner. So I put them not in each corner, but the top right and the bottom left. That's where I like to stamp on the inside. I think they're almost, they're little flowers. You could call them poinsettias at Christmas and you can call them daisies at other times. So let's see, is there anything else? Oh, on the back of the flap, I also did this little string of pearls in Sahara sand and then I did that smaller envelope or smaller ornament. So we'll just put this here and then the small ornament I'll do in cherry cobbler, just kind of hanging off of here. Okay, so all of our stamping is done. So let's get rid of the ink pads. Cherry cobbler or any kind of red always makes me nervous because you end up getting it on you and you'll never get it off. <laughs> so let's get rid of the piercing mat and put our card together our pieces so i'm just going to back this with a bigger piece of cherry cobbler and let me get my liquid glue and i'm just going to go a little bit around the edges and it goes from top to bottom so I'm not using a border. The borders are only on the sides. So see that? See, I have red ink on me. And then we'll do this and center it on this layer. Again, top to bottom, just kind of make sure it's centered on the sides and actually on this one I popped it up with dimensionals I forgot to do that here doesn't matter but you could do it either way and then we'll do this I just realized when I put it down that it laid flatter than this so but that's okay nobody will know unless you send it to people that compare cards I try to send different ones to different people, or that's what I'm going to do this year, especially family members, so they all can have a different, different look. Okay, so we have that together. Let's put our inside in while we have our glue out, and then we just have to decorate with, and I usually only put dots on there. I'm not thinking very well today. And I cut this, this is, um, four by five and a half but it's actually probably five and whatever's under a half maybe three eighths because you want to make sure that it folds nicely if you go too far down it doesn't always fold so I'll have that on my blog as well and we want to use a little bit of our baker's twine I just thought it needed a bow so I did two strands so I'll just fold it in half and cut it and then make sure they're kind of even on the bottom not that it matters I'll cut that anyway 
and then cut this in half and we can make a bow just a little bow doesn't have to be too big I was trying to decide where to put the bow I thought I might put it down there but it, I didn't really like the way it looked and I thought it looked really nice up at the um, at the sentiment now that's a little too long so we'll just trim it down and I'll get a glue dot I'll just tear that off so we'll just take a glue dot and put it in the back of the bow and put it right down I could see the oops I could see the glue dot I, I usually make it into a tiny little ball so you can't see it I don't know if you could see it on camera but it was something that I noticed okay and now we want to just get some holiday rhinestones I love these I've been using them quite a bit lately and these are cherry cobbler I use them with red real red it doesn't really matter and I'm using um I think the bigger one use the big one in this one and I think that just adds a lot to that ornament right there right off the bat I think it adds some special prettiness to it one in the center there and one in the center there these are the smaller ones and the card is done let's finish the envelope so now we want to take this die so there's different sizes I'm using the middle one and this piece is five and a half and I cut it down to three and a half I'm not sure if you could get away with three which would give you two out of each of these pieces this is a three by three piece of cardstock so um, I wanted to have a little bit down there so I'm going to just step away and cut this and I'll be right back so I'm back and I actually I said this was five and a half this should be five and a, a half I have it at five and a quarter so it's a little bit narrower than I would like so I'll put on my blog um, three and a half by five and a half it will work so I will use it because I don't want to waste my paper here but um, it will just fit in here it should be a little bit wider but I think it's fine it doesn't matter so what I do is I get it down I want to have a little bit of you don't have to really go below this because I think it's too much but if you go with a little bit you want to be able to close it and get it nice and straight and what I like to do is get my trimmer and make sure that I have a nice crease in it let me just get this stuff out of the way so I'll just put it in here have it lined up and I just want to get the I hope you can see this get the uh, the the fold line in the groove here and then if you just go over this it makes it nice and easy to then fold and I fold it before I adhere hear it okay so that you can um, it'll move a little bit up and down as you fold it so you don't want to glue it until you have that all figured out so let's get a little bit of glue and I'm really going to just put a little bit because I don't want it to really show through on the envelope and then fold it down okay so now we have oh we didn't do this let's do this I forgot about that so this is the the dotted lines I don't know how I forgot about that but I don't think it will matter that we put the uh, that piece in I think we'll be okay let me get my um, piercing thing again hopefully this won't matter I hate to go all the way through this and end up having a problem stamping this so we just want to stamp this down and I like this with the light color the Sahara sand I think it's just really pretty 
Okay, so we have our pretty envelope and our pretty card. All right, so I will be using more of this. I really, I can't wait to use this and cut it out and line it behind. Um, I just love everything about this. You can even do, I think, a three by three with this one. So I'll have to play more and I'll come back and show you some more things. So here are both of the cards and both of the envelopes. Thanks a lot for joining and come back again. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you. Bye.